In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the bezel that goes around the buttons for the power seat on this Ford F-150. Let's get started. To pop this out, take a trim tool, pry it out from the bottom, and then lift straight up. This should unlock two little tabs that slide into those slots up there. Now there's going to be an electrical connector on the back side here. Unplug that. There's a uh, uh, lock that you have to press underneath. Then if you pull it out like that, you'll see a larger electrical connector on the front side. Unplug this, press on that tab, and just wiggle it out. There we go. Now we have to pry these buttons off so that we can actually slide the bezel off from the switch panel and the buttons are larger than the cutouts so they actually have to come off. So I'm going to take that same plastic trim tool and just pry these off. They will pop almost like, well, it's going to feel like they're breaking but they're not. This is just them releasing. Set that one aside and let's pry this one. And then these two will actually slide through. So now on the back side you have a bunch of these little tabs that uh, hook onto the switch panel. So pry up as you pull out on the switch panel. Just like that. Hold pressure. Move to the other side. Okay. This comes out. Lastly, we have to remove the smaller switch panel here, which works the same way. Has little tabs on the side. So push the switch through as you pry these out on one side and on the other. There's one. And there you go. And there is your bezel. Now to reinstall, let's reverse the procedure. For these buttons, you want to make sure you don't accidentally put them upside down. So I like to hold the bezel as it will be on the vehicle and then take the buttons exactly as they will be on the vehicle and put them through looking from the front side. Press them on, that snaps in place. Let's do the same with the main switch panel. Line up all the tabs, make sure they all lock into place. And then let's put on these two buttons which can go on in either direction, it doesn't matter. They're the same. Lock those down. This one actually only goes on in one direction. You'll see that it has this larger pin that sticks out that has to go on the two tabs that hold it on. Otherwise it won't be secured just because this is for the backrest and this has to swivel back and forth. So that's basically a pivot point. At this point, you can bring this back down here, reconnect the main electrical connector, make sure it clicks. And then as you bring this closer, you're gonna to wanna to push it forward and connect the electrical connector on the memory switch. And then you have two tabs at the top that have to go up and down, basically a hook up and over. Just like that, and the bezel with the switches should be installed. Test them out to make sure they work. If they don't, check your electrical connectors. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.